but we are moving on because even though we have just wrapped up with AW All In, Bash in Berlin is the next big wrestling pay-per-view slash premium live event hosted by WWE coming live from Berlin, Germany at the Mercedes Bank. I think it was Mercedes Bank Arena, if I'm not mistaken. Is it the Mercedes Bank? It's the Mercedes Bank Arena or or the Uber Arena. Either one. They're coming Uber. live from either one of those. It, Uber Arena. Yeah. It's a pretty short match card right now, but it has some pretty interesting stories attached. So let's go over some predictions. So in a strap match, we have CM Punk versus Drew McIntyre. Who do you have? A what type of match? Strap match. Hey, yo, I got a bad joke, but I'll leave it alone. <laughs> um, <laughs> CM Punk, obviously, just because we know when it gets to bad blood, they got to have that tiebreaker. So I'm going with Punk. Yeah. Punk. I, I agree with you. I'm going with Punk as well. The next thing is Ray Ripley and Damian Priest versus Liv Morgan and Dirty Dominic Mysterio. If you see Liv Morgan long term being your champ, I think you got to get them over just because they got so much heel heat. But more than likely, they going with Rhea and Damian because they got jumped this past Monday. Well, yeah, last week they got jumped. When this comes out, it'll be the current yeah. Monday. They got jumped last week, so obviously somebody got to come and save them. So I think the baby face gets over uh, Rhea and Damian Priest. Who helps them? God only knows. I mean, they got... You know what? This might be stupid, but I say a lot of stupid stuff. Hey, Pentagon been teasing something. Obviously, they signed to the E. They ain't say how they was going to show up. I'm just, they put the Latin workers. Do they not put the Latin workers? The LWO, El Fetat, they put all the Latin workers together. Damian Priest, Puerto Rican, Penta, Mexican. I'm just saying they willing to do that with Triple H booking. Here's what I will say. I'm going to go with Rhea and Damian as well. Um, however, another person to consider is someone that can help out more specifically Rhea than anybody else is Raquel. Haven't seen her on TV for a while. Haven't seen her in any really role for a while. We know that Raquel and Liv had issues at one point, I believe. And so I think for the sake of helping out Rhea and to kind of even the odds, I can see Raquel making a return. But as far as the match prediction is concerned, I'm going to go with Rhea and Damian. The next match for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship, we have Randy Orton versus Gunder. I already know who I have, but I want to know who you have. Of course, it's going to be Gunther. I ask that this match be 30 minutes, 30 to 40 minutes. Can they, both of these guys do 30 to 40 minutes? Hell, they can do an hour just because Gunther shit by default because our tribal chief, you know, is basically, no disrespect to him, he's a part-timer, but he deserved it. And then some. Uh, I think Gunther might be the best pro wrestler out today. It's just not me saying that. Ask the old heads. Wow. The old heads revere his Very work. He, he works in his timeline. He works in the 90s, the 80s, especially the 70s and the 80s. Like he, him and uh, Bruiser Brody would have had some great matches. You know, again, let me not scare the, the females and the kids and all that because I can get into my wrestling bag. But with him, he's a homage to the old workers, but he works now because – He's a heel that shit, you could boo him or you could cheer for him just because how he be talking that money talk. He looks like a champion. He works like a champion. This is your long term champ until he decides I want to do the job to somebody or they make him do the job to somebody. The only person he should mm -hmm. do the job to, if it's cool with Cena, is Cena at WrestleMania. Otherwise, he should have this title for a long time because who going to beat him? Uh, so. It's Gunther, but I hope this match is at least 40 minutes, 30 to 40 minutes. I think we are going to get a 45-minute banger out of this one, um, and I do believe that Gunther is going to win, and I agree with everything that you just said about him. I believe it was The Undertaker on his podcast, Six Feet Under, that said that Gunther is special. He also said that Ludwig Kaiser is special, 
and that he's someone to look out for as well. Um, he said that Gunter is a throwback heel. You can put him in any era, he'll thrive. So the old heads have, have spoken, as you said, and Gunter is that guy. I feel like this is probably going to be one of the most important matches of his reign, however long it is. It's his first defense. It's against the guy who, next to John Cena, has encapsulated the last 20 years of WWE. It's been Cena. It's been Orton. And there's and, and then there's everybody else. I feel like him winning against Orton is going to set the tone. So I personally think that Gunter is going to win. And then, last but not least, Cody Rhodes versus Kevin Owens for the WWE Undisputed Championship. I'm going to go Cody. I'm going to go Cody. But I do believe that Kevin Owens is going to turn heel. And I believe that that is going to be the big story that comes out of this. But I do want to know how you feel about this. Uh, another two former ROH, ROH guys. So, you know, th- this is just a filler. It's a mean time between time. The bloodline, I don't expect them to be booked last minute to do anything unless it's a tag match with the Gorillas of Destiny going against whoever. It's not needed for this type of pay-per-view. I think they're trying to hold off to bad blood to do anything with the bloodline. Also because... yeah. You know, the Fox deal is about to end and they're going to USA in a couple of weeks. Originally, our tribal chief mm-hmm. was supposed to show up, but then they canceled that appearance. And I understand as to why. It's probably like, let's just wait on it. We don't need it for the premiere. We already got paid. Yeah. The ratings are good. And we have to keep, re- you know, people have to be reminded. Stu still yeah. has stuff going on with his body outside of pro wrestling. People got to remember that. So it's yeah. like, let him take care of himself first all the time. So, for right now, I guess this match is just a filler. I'll watch like everybody else. And, you know, I don't expect any story out of it. Like Jordan just said, I think this turns Kevin Owens heel. But it's just in the meantime, between time. We got to get to October for Bad Blood. Yeah. I agree. Um, And I think that also with – but I think that the reason why the Bloodline story is kind of the way that it is right now and they're keeping – you know them off of this show is I think they wanted to they wanted to sell the attack from Jacob to Roman. Like we have to think about this. This man made his debut entrance in Madison Square Garden. Three matches into his WWE tenure, he's a champion. He becomes tag team champion with Tama Tonga. And had it not been for Jacob, Roman would have walked out of SmackDown with that tribal chief title because of what he was what he put around his neck. I don't I can't pronounce it, so I'm not even gonna try. But the fact that he was able to be the difference maker in all of that, I think elevates his value. And I think that keeping Roman off Roman off of screen after that attack only solidifies Jacob as the monster heel that SmackDown has been uh building him up to be. So I think that that's more so the reason why they're kind of keeping the bloodline pace as it is right now. And they've also been sowing some little seeds for dissension. Uh, Solo acts for Jacob to relinquish his tag team title, give it to Tonga Loa, uh, in order to be Solo's enforcer. So I think that that's something that we should keep an eye out for. But yes to everything that you said. But... I think that concludes all of our predictions for Bash in Berlin. So if y'all think that we have some good predictions, be sure to comment below. Let us know. But thank you guys so much for tuning in to another show of Culture 316. Once again, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share, all the good things. And we'll see you guys next week. Thank you guys so much for watching the Culture 316 podcast. If you liked what you saw, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe so that you guys can stay up to date with all upcoming videos and events pertaining to Culture 316.